couldn't. I couldn't do it. I got too much respect and love for for you know for him and his family. That it, it is different when you know that it could be you. It could be anybody. Man, man. Like how would my daughter feel? How yeah. would my wife feel? Then you know you got people want to say he was on these drugs and I man, get that. That's the crazy. And keep part. in mind his wife was with him. She was there. She was there. Yeah. Ah, dang. How Damn. is she handling that? Because to see that on in person is totally different. Man, I know, I know she got to be, you know, past devastated. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I mean, I, I'm telling you right now, you got to value the time you have with your loved ones, bro. Man. Mm -hmm. That's all it is to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I get mad. I don't right play, bro. Like, bro, if you disrespect, I, and I ain't gonna say no name, but it's been certain people. If you say something about your mama or something like I that, can't I, I can't deal with that, I bro. That mess with me. Yeah, like, I'm like, hell no. It happened to make me understand. I can't understand mm -hmm. that at all. I don't care. If you could be a crackhead, or anything, nigga. You better I never disrespect her. I'm not playing with that yeah, see, at all. You don't I know grew, what these women had to do. I grew up believing in that. You know. Mm -hmm. You got I, I never was too far to daddies, but you didn't play with mama, so man. You you got to do something for me. You got to tell me about that la that last project with uh, Big Pokey. Uh, just so just down memory lane, like how was it working with him w doing that project? Say, Pokey, you gonna do a chorus on this motherfucker? You gonna just let it ride? I'm gonna let Coke get it. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Me and Pokey, you know. We always told each other, like, he said, I'm his favorite. And I always let him know he my favorite. Wow. So when the beat drop, that's it. It's whoever go in there first. And he don't write either? He write, but I don't know. His, I haven't seen him write, so I think he was prepared. Okay. For, for when we went in there, you know, I ain't seen him write. Mm. But uh, that dude heavy, man. I can't believe he not known... As, as much as he's supposed to be, like, that dude here. Mm. What was the thing about him that inspired you the most? His lyrical content. Like, when we was young, and he dropped that hardest pit in the letter. Don't trip with me as I infiltrate your noggin. I'm to the point in mind boggling. Keep it thrawsing. Mind boggling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was right there. Yeah. <laughs> hardest pit in the letter. Yeah. 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 Mm. I think, I, I knew it was one. The dope corner in my jaw. Yeah, but you know what I wonder? Cause you know sometimes, like before he passed oh, away, wow. before he passed away, this one might have been the one that you was listening to the most. But after he passed away, there right. might be another one that might be more that you listen to more because whether he was on that one more or because of what he said in that song. I think it was pressure. I know the streets been hungry for this pressure. pressure. Over time on my grind, I've been going extra. Look from a Street been talking about this pressure. Yeah, that's the uh, point after huh? Yeah, when he died, yeah, having that nonstop, nonstop. Mm. You know, I was right around the corner. You know, we both had a show out there that day. Oh, you was right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So how did you how did you get come to hear the, the, the that it had happened? Oh my God, on my way to Houston, they called me. Man, say, unbelievable. I I had just talked to him. And told him, my show is mine over before yours. I'm gonna come around now. You know what I mean? Too. Yeah, yeah. When I got the call, it was all screaming and hollering. You know? wow. So it was happening right then and there. Yeah, at that very moment. At that very moment. Right. Man. But then let me ask you a question. How? Um, because when we heard about it. Well, he heard about it way longer before I even got up. Yes, he was asleep. But by the time I got up out of my bed and I heard about it, it was all over social media. Man, mm. that was a bad part. How do you feel about social media and the fact that they can film that and put it all over for everybody to see? Because to me, in my head, I'm like, there's probably some family members who don't even he haven't heard about it yet. Yeah. And to see that. Yeah, I think it's the price. It, it come with it. it. come with the territory. Because the only reason why I wasn't as angry with this situation because y'all was recording him performing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. he happened to die. You know right. I mean? So y'all was going to be recording this performance. But it's still people who wouldn't have been recording at all and they see that and then they'll come out with their phone. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what makes that 
that's some of the best entertainment. Yeah, I never, I wouldn't be sure. I couldn't do it. I got too much respect and love for for you know for him and his family. That it, it is different when you know that it could be you. It could be anybody. Man, man. Like, sad. how would my daughter feel? How yeah. would my wife feel? Then you know you got people want to say he was on these drugs and I man, get that. That's the crazy. And keep part. in mind, his wife was with him. She was there. She was there. there. Ah, dang. How yeah. is she handling that? Because to see that on in person is totally different. Man, I know, I know she got to be, you know, past devastated. However, the way she holding it down, you know, since she died and holding him down and holding their family down, I ain't seen too many people stronger. Wow, it's, it's mind blowing. You wow! Know. Wow, that's crazy. I'm, I'm just, mm. I, I, you know, I, like I said, I wanted to interview him. He was a, a just a talent, bro. Just a, just a just dope a realist, dude. Just man. a realist, bro. I, and I, I just was like, dang, man, I, I couldn't, I couldn't fathom it, man. It, it, it's something you a leader in the in the city, bro. Like, and I, I remember, and and not trying to bring up old mess, but just I remember how you was vocal when, when the Trey and Zero thing happened. Mm. You went you went crazy about it because I felt like you was connected to both of them and it was frustrating to you and that's yeah. why you were speaking. I don't know, but in my mind, I be trying to figure this stuff yeah, out. Yeah, now you, you in the nail on and the head. And you like, this everybody here pride, know. this our business. I mean, everybody in the city know that me and Trey, you know, probably, you know, the two closest when it come to, you know, you know, but, you know, uh, I'm just, me personally, when I'm seeing, I'm so for Texas in the city. I, I came up on the Pimp C. Yeah. You know what I mean? Knocking those down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just so for us to be together. That's just, man, that was a major week for the city, too. You know what I mean? There was a lot of big things going on. And it just, you know... Uh, I, I can't stand to see them made it. I couldn't when I seen any anything like that would have shook me. But them two, I just really uh, you know that'd be one of the best things could happen to Houston if them two was Come able back to together. put together. Do you think man, it might be possible though? Anything possible. Anything. I come from the bottom. I'm you know I mean the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. I'm the last person that I'll tell you something that's impossible. Everything that's happening now was impossible. You know what I mean? I know the streets been hungry for this pressure. pressure. Over time on my grind, I've been going extra. Look from a yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.